tomahawk chops with extra long rib bones served with a generous helping of that magical dish, chow chow. Now let's talk about making this chow chow liquid. Two cups of the ACV, the apple cider vinegar. We'll do a cup of sugar to it. Gotta have a little salt in this, so we'll go for about a tablespoon of that. Uh, a few bay leaves, critical. Let me get some heat on this so we'll let this start to dissolve. And we want it a little bit warm. Okay, now let's get in some turmeric. Gotta throw a little color to this. A little celery seed. Uh, the mustard powder and some mustard seed, both about a tablespoon. And a little mustard seed, okay? Now what's gonna go inside of here? Well, after this starts to come to a simmer, we'll be dropping in. Well, let me grab it. Hang on a second here. Let me grab it. What do you think? I'm thinking, well, definitely the green tomatoes. So about a pound of the green tomatoes, and that's pretty good. We're gonna do, we're in California, of course, we're gonna have some tomatillos, part of the nightshade family, the gooseberry family, okay? Also, red bell pepper, um, I think a little Vidalia onion, and then my favorite, not everybody does this one, my favorite is the green cabbage. Okay. Now, oh, you know what? Also some jalapeno. We'll get one jalapeno in there for this. Bust them down, about uh, half inch, quarter inch size pieces. I'm gonna start loading stuff up. Uh, I'll just, this will work, here we go. Let's go in first with the green tomatoes into the brining liquid or into this, this poaching liquid. Uh, in go the tomatillos. Look at these bad boys. That you don't see every day in a chow chow. Red bell pepper, awesome color into that. Sweet onion in there. Of course me, I like mine a little bit spicier. I get a little jalapeno. Now let's get into the cabbage. Similar to how we cut an onion, take the cabbage. Drop that in. I'm gonna pop a little garlic into this. Just some rough chop on it. Drop that right in. So we'll let this continue to sit here and simmer. There we go, now, chops. Start to set up my dredging station here. Some flour, okay. Okay, a little panko. Now this is the regular panko, like you get in a package. But I always keep some panko around that I take and grind up because the regular panko can be just a little thick on the outside and I want a little more texture that's closer to the meat. So I grind up a little panko. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. If you just have regular panko, but I mean, we throw it in the food processor, you can make it happen. Okay, so let me season that first with a little salt and pepper, okay? Now, over to this, let me get a little granulated garlic and a little granulated onion to season my flour. Okay, there we go. And I'm also gonna throw a touch in S and P. Mix that up, okay. A little half and half hanging out. Put that in and we'll get a couple eggs. Okay. Excellent, now let's go over to the chop. Am I ready? Boom, 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 great. Pounding the tomahawk chops, that's a tomahawk bone-in chop. It creates a little wider surface, so it gives you a chance to have more crunchiness, and it's a presentation that nobody will forget. No one's seen a chop that looks like that. Okay, so kind of pushing out as I go, and not stabbing through it. We don't want to have big, thick sides and real thin sides. Using my plastic. That's it, and that's a pounded out chop. I've taken these beautiful pork chops and I'm dredging them here in a little seasoned flour. Then we'll go into some egg wash and this is all coming together for chow chow. Say it, chow chow. This is this fantastic mixture that I made and already put in the fridge. And look at that chop, is that gorgeous or what? Now I'm gonna let this one set up here for a second. That helps, you give it, give it five, 10 minutes. Let that coating kind of soak into the meat. So when you start to fry it, when you do the shallow fry work like we're gonna do, it holds on a lot better. Okay, so the oil, yeah, right around 350 degrees. Now we'll drop the chop. Okay, had some time, let that adhere. Check our oil, I just give it a little dip test. There we go, we're not going crazy when it drops in. And nice and easy, only one at a time, folks. Okay, and try to get that bone down in there if you can. That we'd like to have down in there so it's not this big raw bone. 
and we'll let this thing start to go. These are super thin, so realize they're gonna go fast. And don't worry about cooking this chop all the way through. It's only that thick because we're gonna take it and let it rest a little bit. You can hold it in the oven about 250. It'll cook all the way through on its own. Pull this chop out. I don't even know how I can fit this chop on there. Now this is the star of the show. Even though it's the condiment, this is the chow chow. We load that up, let's see if I can get a little bit of the juice. There we are. Oh, my mouth is just watering. Okay, so let's talk about this. What do we got here? Well, chow chow is this super condiment. You'll find it, you'll find it a lot of times down in the south. I just gotta bust into this. It goes on just about anything, but when you take a fried chop like this, and you load up a little of the chow chow, which got the apple cider vinegar and sugar, that's the basis of it, and then mustard seed and everything else. Oh. Salty, crunchy, with sour, sweet. Oh, outrageous. I gotta do another bite. 